And today from Jamie Dean's book, Good Foods, I will be making Brooks meatloaf with sun-dried tomatoes and fresh mozzarella. So first, I'm going to set the oven to 350. Now that we have our oven on, I'm going to start cutting my sun-dried tomatoes. To the edge of where the knife ends and pull it back and it just goes right through. Now that I have my half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, I'm just going to put it into my bowl. Burke's recipe calls for two cloves of garlic. Now here's a tip for getting all the skin off the garlic. You're just going to sit it down like this, and you're going to set the knife blade facing out, so it's not facing towards you. Then you're going to smash it. Look how easy it is to peel that garlic off. And then an easy peel. I'm going to take it and pressing hard enough so it actually cuts through the garlics. And you can go slow, but I like to go fast. But if you only can go slow because you're just starting off, go ahead, start slow. You got to start from somewhere. Now I'm going to put these into the bowl that also have some dried tomatoes. Yeah. And with my onion, I have a candle lit, and the candle is supposed to make you not cry. I love this book because it has such great recipes for the whole family. Now that I have all my onion chopped, I'm going to put it into my bowl with my half a cup sun-dried tomatoes and my two cloves of garlic. And it also says in the book to lightly beat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour our two eggs lightly beaten into our half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, two cloves of garlic, and our one medium onion finely chopped. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to put in more ingredients. All right, now we're using the tomato sauce recipe in Jamie Dean's Good Food on page 206. We are using a quarter cup of the tomato sauce. Alrighty, we are using a cup of breadcrumbs. Now the recipe calls for a large freshly toasted bread, but we're gluten free. So we are using just some gluten free bagel chips, which are really crunchy. We blended that up in our mixer and we got out a cup. I'm going to put this also with our mix. We are using an eight ounce ball of fresh mozzarella. We have shredded ours up and we're just going to pour it right into the mix. It calls for one fourth cup chopped fresh basil. This is going to be delicious. And now I am mixing all of our ingredients together. Oh, look at all that mozzarella cheese. Two pinches of salt. And that's our finished product. I have two pounds of chopped meat. And I put it on gloves. But you're more than welcome to use your hands. I feel more comfortable using some gloves. Gloves are my friend when it comes to meat. We are going to be adding in the mix that we already have mixed up and added our onions, our mozzarella, and everything. Pouring that right in. Now you can mix this with your hands or a fork, but I'm using my hands. Whoa! This is so cool because I hate touching it with my hand. This is so cool. <laughs> Believe me, it's more fun when you got gloves. Mmm, <laughs> this smells so good. I wish it wasn't raw. I want to eat it. <laughs> but soon enough, I will be eating this delicious meatloaf. You don't want to over mix your meat because it comes very dense and tough. This is so much fun. And this smells so cheesy. <laughs> you want to form it into a nice ball. I made it. I'm trying to make it look like a football, which is Jamie Dean's favorite sport. I think it really does look like a football. I'm shaping it into a football. I'm sure the Georgia boys would be proud. I'm going to pour on the tomato sauce. Wow. 
voila! And the meatloaf is ready to go in the oven. Woo! And we're ready to take the meatloaf out of the oven. Our meatloaf is done. Thanks, Jamie and Jean. Thanks, Brooke. You came up with a great recipe. Can't wait for my family to eat it.